How'd it go with E-Man? He tells me you and Frank are like mortal enemies. Yeah, so? So how are you gonna help me smooth things over with your mortal enemy? There's not a problem in the world that money can't buy. Or, no, that's not right. You know what I mean. Money fixes everything. I don't have a lot of cash. I'm gonna help you out as a favor to your cousin. He was a loyal earner back in the day. Only thing is, a while back, I made the mistake of putting Karen in charge of my finances. Bratz got me on a tight leash. Which is exactly why I called in a favor from an old acquaintance, who just dropped off a briefcase full of green at an agreed-upon location. You go for me, pick up the money, then I can, uh, bring a little something to the negotiation table, Kavish. Fine, sure. We interrupt this broadcast to bring you some breaking news. A police chase occurred in downtown Vegas earlier today when an errant driver, equipped with at least two automatic weapons, opened fire. Vera, I'm at the pickup spot, but, uh, there's like a bunch of guys here. What? Ah, uh, must have gotten a tip-off. You gotta get that money. But the last thing we want is unwanted attention. No bang-bang is what I'm saying, you get me? Yeah, I gotcha. Hey! There he is! Take him down! I gotta go. Walked right into this one, chump! <laughs> you cost me a lot of money, below. <laughs> When Frank says go down, you go down! Vera, these guys knew who I was. They mentioned Frank. Nah. The arrangement I got with Frank involves him staying out of downtown. This associate of yours, how tight are you? You saying this was a setup? I don't know. These guys were expecting me. All due respect, man. You gonna be able to help me out or not? Kid, you're on Frank Villiano's bad side. If I can't help you out, no one can. <laughs> 